Hi, this is Ian Harrison for Guns and Ammo, and today we're on the range at Albany Rifle and Pistol Club in beautiful sunny Oregon. And today we're going to explain how not to get disqualified in free gun. This is important because I see so many new shooters come to the range and we want their first experience of going and shooting three gun to be a worthwhile and beneficial and happy experience. And the worst thing you can possibly do is get disqualified on your first time out. So the number one cause for disqualifications in three gun is breaking the 180 degree plane. If you can imagine, we're looking straight down range there. We've got 180 degrees all the way over the side of me, top, bottom. If you break that 180 degree plane, if your muzzle goes that direction, you are going home. So let's not do that. So I can shoot all the way up to that 180 degree plane that way. I can transition that way, shoot 180 degrees that direction. And as long as my muzzle doesn't point that way by one degree, I'm safe. You can run all the way up to that 180 degree plane, but please do not break it. The second biggest reason for disqualifications in three gun is when you transition between the firearms. Because it's a three gun match, you're gonna be dropping one gun, picking up another and shooting again. So when you abandon a gun, it needs to be in a safe condition. There are generally two ways you can do this. The first one is to make the gun completely cold. No rounds in it, magazine out, chamber empty. The second way is to have the gun completely unsafe. And I say completely unsafe because it is possible on a 1911 to set that thing down and have the safety catch bump halfway so that you think it's engaged, but you can actually drop the hammer. A good friend of mine who's a match director in the MGM Man managed to get disqualified from his own match doing that. So, a couple of examples, how can we do that? On an AR-15, you can either safety catch unsafe, abandon the gun. That's a safe gun. The other way to do it is safety catch on safe, dump the magazine out, clear the weapon. Safe gun. On a handgun, 1911 especially, this is the one to look for because if you're abandoning a Glock or any of the striker action guns, they generally have a safety catch incorporated into them. So you dump a Glock, it's already on safe. On a 1911 though, you've got to make sure that safety catch is engaged when you place the weapon down. Otherwise, you're going to have to dump the magazine, clear it out. The other way to do it is to dump the magazine and just burn the round. If you burn that round in a safe direction pointing at a target, then you know that gun is completely clear. With a shotgun, if you're going to burn that round, well, with a tube gun, you've got to have to rack that rack all those rounds out of the tube. That takes a long time, so with a shotgun, it's greater emphasis is placed in actually just putting the safety catch on, putting the weapon down in a safe condition, and running on to the next gun. So we've just explained how not to get DQ'd in a stage on a three-gun match. So what we're just going to do now is go through this stage here. It's a really basic one. I've been teaching some classes this morning, and I've been using the stage in order to instruct some newbies. So it's a pretty simple stage, and we're going to start off with the rifle loaded and made ready. At the, low, at the low ready behind this barricade. And then I'm gonna use the barricade in order to shoot three targets down range, head boxes only. So in order to do that, I'm gonna use maximum use of the barricade. I'm gonna stabilize the barricades to start off with using my foot. And I'm gonna clamp the gun onto the barricade leaning into it. And this produces a really strong, stable position. So I could use this position here to shoot all three targets through the head box. Then safety catch applied, I'm then gonna move really quickly into this location here where I'm gonna shoot the targets again, engage them using the bodies. I'll shoot them two rounds in the body uh, from this low aperture. To get in the low aperture, you've got a couple of different positions you can go into. You can either roll over and shoot it like that, which is kind of funky and difficult. And if you're a young guy and get in and out of those positions easy, then that's the way to do it. You can drop both knees on the, on the ground to get a little lower. You can put one leg out like that, shoot it in that position. But that really need to be a Russian gymnast in order to do that one effectively. But once I've shot those targets, I'm then going to dump the rifle. Put down a safe rifle there. Move over to the shotgun. With my shotgun, I'm going to pick up and then shoot one, two, three, four, five, six steel targets right in front of me. Transition this direction, watching my muzzle so I don't break that 180 degree plane. From inside this shooting box, I'm going to take steel target number one, steel target number two, ground the shotgun, draw my handgun, and finish the stage. Come with me here and we'll finish the stage up. From this shooting box and from through this port, I'm going to shoot two steel targets on the right. I'm going to shoot 
Uh, the Texas Star over there. When you're shooting the Texas Star, remember to start from the top and work your way down. And then I'm going to finish up on the two steel targets on the left. And that's my course of fire. Let's see how it runs. Obviously at this point there'd be an RO following me, but instead of an RO, I've got a camera guy. Shoot ready? Go. That was a fairly pedestrian run for one stoppage on the gun using low-powered ammo, but uh, I went out fairly clean. 